Hi, this is Tej from the Xperia X10 blog. Um, I just wanted to shoot a very quick video um, today just highlighting the latest uh, Xperia X10 firmware update. Uh, now this one is the R2BA020 update. It's only hit a few carrier branded um, options right now. So you've got A2 Germany who've released the update and we've got Telenor in Sweden which is what I'm showing you right now. Um, he released it. Hopefully the generic updates will be will be released uh, within the next few days. But this one's a Telenor one, so you can kind of see a few uh, branded ones like this navigation app, uh, which is Telenor branded. Um, and there's a few there's a few other ones as well, um, like this one here. I, I won't even begin to to pronounce them. You've got SVT Play TV dot. NU. So you've got a few other options. It is quite branded, um, even on the widget side. If you have a look, click on the on the widget side, um, and you've got quite a few different um, Swedish widgets there as well. Um, so it's you know so there are um, a few different branded options there. But hopefully the generic update will be released in the next few days for those that want a completely clean Xperia X10. Um, I just wanted to highlight some of the changes. Now this is the, uh, the R2 uh, BA020. Um, just to prove that to you, it's about phone and you can probably see there under the build number that's the R2 BA020, uh, and I just wanted to show you some of the um, some of the new features from this update. Uh, now, what it's meant to bring is meant to bring a battery life boost. Um, it's too early to, to actually give you any indication of that right now, uh, but also a performance boost. And I think on the uh, on the blog we've included some figures that show that it is uh, faster than previous updates as well. But some of the tangible things that I can show you right now, probably one of the bigger ones is Timescape. Um, traditionally a blue background and what we can see now is that you can actually change the color of this you you click on the settings and you get a theme option um, at the bottom so you click on theme and you can choose various colors now it's predefined you can't choose your 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 own wallpapers or own colors here uh, but it's a nice option nonetheless uh, so just to show you this if you go for green set theme and you can see everything's in green moving across I mean performance wise it does actually seem a bit faster I mean you can kind of see it zipping through the splines here um, and even going up and down you know it does seem much zippier um, than the last update which is which is nice to know um, you know it feels much more pleasure pleasurable to use the other thing that I would quickly mention um, on this is that there is now an option under the settings if you go to settings you can also now turn off the ability for the application to update automatically when you first launch Timescape. Often this causes cause a, a bit of lag, so you can now actually, you know, there's a tick sign there, you can actually turn that off. So hopefully when you when you switch it on, there won't be that lag anymore. And, and certainly to launch, you know, it's been much faster than it has been in the past. Um, the other thing I wanted to quickly show you was Mediascape. Um, a less significant change here, to be quite honest, but you've got some kind of redesigned icons at the bottom, and for which for whichever um, part of the um, of the media player is is uh, is activated, there's there's a small glow as you can see. Their music is is uh, is um, used right now, but you can obviously go to video and that starts glowing, and photos as well. And the other thing is there's a new slide um, there's a new slide transition effect when you're actually kind of flicking through photos etc it's probably it's a very subtle change but you know it's probably not as notable as it was before but it's kind of you know it's quite a nice when you're kind of cycling through photos and it's reasonably quick too only once it caches it took you know when you put in new new cards onto your um uh, sorry, new pictures onto your card. It still does take a long time, so that's nice too. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you quickly was the a new application that Sony Ericsson has installed called Backup and Restore. Now this typically um, backs up all of your settings, your contacts, um, you know, any anything like that. It's a it's it's a very worthwhile app to have. Um, and it's quite nice that Sony Ericsson has, has actually provided something that's actually quite useful. 
um, so you can you know click here add add new to you know to, to to include a backup. What I do like also is that you can actually also schedule your apps if you want it every day, every week, every month, at certain times. You can actually do that here. So even if you forget to do it yourself, you can have it automatically running in the background for you to make sure that your phone is always backed up. Something that's quite important. Uh, the other changes they've included a few more um, keyboards. Uh, let's see this changing. Um, so they've infl included a few more default keyboard options as well. So click on here, so you can there, there you see Korean, Chinese uh, additions there as well to the keyboard. And the other nice addition is also on the alarm clock. You now get some. Um, you now get some various alarm clocks, so you get obviously the usual ones that you had there before, and some more abstract options um, under the alarm clock options as well, which is quite nice to have. Uh, there's no Create Touch application included in this update, as was as was first believed, uh, but you can get that through PlayNow, uh, the PlayNow application, which is just here, um, as we previously detailed on the blog. Um, and another thing that I noticed that is on the market, and this is probably down to kind of a Telenor branded issue, is that some apps are missing. Um, you know, some like uh, My Backup Pro, which I've not been able to find on here. Um, you know, which are missing. So, uh, you know, that that could also be an issue. But hopefully, that's rectified once we get the generic update out. Um, so, apart from that, I think those are the big updates. Uh, battery life, you know, it's it's, st it's still an unknown. Um, but it's certainly nice to see that you, you can change the colour on Timescape, some slight updates to Mediascape. Um, you know, we're very fond of the uh, new Backup and Restore um, application that Sony Ericsson have included. Uh, and overall it seems like a worthwhile update. You can see the benchmarks that include in the blog, so it is faster. Um, but, you know, this list isn't definitive. These are the ones that we've initially come across, and hopefully if we come across any others, we'll detail that on the blog. But we just wanted to let you know our, our initial findings so far, uh, and we hope you found it useful. Um, look forward to some more videos on the Xperia X10, and this is Tej, over and out. Cheers.